We are here on the Antoine Araldi Show with my co-host, Hugo Prince. And today we have a very special guest. Her name is Nadia Uni. So thank you for being here. Yes. Thank you for having me. So for those who might not know you, could you introduce yourself to my audience that are watching from all around the world? Of course. So as you all know, Nadia Oni, um, I'm from Montreal. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I'm a ballroom dancer, almost known for, like world -wally. Um I'm an actress as well. I model. And um, I can be called uh, an assistant lawyer as well because I just oh, wow. finished my deck. And... Oh. Um, I'm also a really um, business-driven person, always in the like, business conferences, um, trying new uh, ideas and surrounding myself with business-minded people as well. So where does, that, where does that come from? You seem to be doing so many things at the same time. Yes, yeah. I love keeping myself busy. Um, dancing and acting and modeling all started at an early age. My family is in the business, so it started naturally. Um, the business part, I don't know, it's maybe in my blood, but when I turned around like 15, 16, I always got like business ideas in my head and I joined a platform that helped me meet uh, investors or like business mind people that surrounded me, that the people that are actually interested in opening businesses and they were all my age. It was a teen platform. Okay. Um, it's called Young Leaders. Uh, cool. It's a really interesting platform for people that are interested in business at an early age. Yes. So they connect you with people um, that might help you and all. Uh, yeah, I went to Vegas at the CES conference where I met like a lot of people that made me boost my ambition to, um, you know, open a business or even work with entrepreneurs and all. It's actually the entrepreneur lifestyle that really made me want to pursue that. Okay. So I think it's that that really... Like, do you think it comes from your parents because they're like entrepreneurs? Do you get that influence from them? Like, for your, pa your parents have like uh, businesses, so maybe... Wait, I don't hear the other person. Uh, yeah, did you hear me? Yeah, okay. I hear you, but not well. Okay, so I, I was just asking, do you think it's because of your parents that you get that uh, entrepreneurship life? Um, maybe because of my grandmother, because when yeah. she arrived to Canada, she okay. started from nothing. She was a nurse back in her country. Okay. When she arrived to Canada, she opened her own um, business, which is, she has two now, one in Montreal West and one in downtown. Okay. It's a clinic, a natural clinic where she uses natural treatments to treat people. Okay. And she expanded that to even having um, massage clinics and um, anything that could help, like a, a reestablish, re like a rehab basically. Okay, good. Okay. And, so, yeah. Yeah. so it comes from your grandmother. So that we, yeah, I uh, think I think I have my grandma's um, grandma's blood, like an ambition. Yeah. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Start from the bottom and grow. So you seem to be growing a lot when it comes to Instagram. So it, has that helped you with your career with uh, modeling or being an actress? Yes, yeah, that helped me a lot. Uh, I got noticed on Facebook. When Facebook started being popular, used more than Instagram, when Instagram wasn't even there before, I started posting videos and uh, just for fun with my friends. And I got noticed and these people started following me on, in, on Facebook. Okay. After I noticed that, I was like, maybe people are interested in my content. So more videos that were actually more focused on pe what people would want to see, not just what I wanted to post. And then when Instagram um, was in the was a social media platform, yeah. I I started posting photos there, but more professionally, uh, more like modeling pictures and traveling pictures. And uh, of course, people started following me and liking my content. Yes. So yeah, that helped me a lot. I'm actually um, when it comes to acting and modeling, having a follower base helps you get noticed by other producers or other agencies um like i got noticed by my agent right now okay yeah so, so of course that helps a lot so do you contact them or will people just contact you like on dm Wait, sorry they did you contact them directly or like no, no, no. yeah they contacted me by instagram okay cool they 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 found me on the social media and they contacted me i got okay. a lot of uh, contracts from instagram as well 
So has social media um, added a lot of pressure in your life? Like, has it been overwhelming to answer to a lot of messages? I wouldn't say so. Um, it's not, I mean, it's, it takes time, of course. It takes time of my, my daily life, especially when I was a student. I couldn't really handle the social media, uh, being active on social media and being active in school. Yes, that's, that was an issue, but okay. I handled it well. I mean, uh, I think it, it wasn't that bad. And, uh, you know, it's like a job. Social media gave me jobs, so I was driven by it. Okay, cool. So I found time. I don't think it was an issue. All right, interesting. Let me see. So do you have any more questions yes. to go? Well, I have a question for you. Yes. What, what does an influencer mean to you? What does he represent, like, influencer? Like, for you, Joseph. Like, you have a lot of followers, so do you think, like, it's just a status or, like, maybe something deeper than that? What you mean? What people see in me? Like when, the, like uh, yourself. Like what does an influencer mean? Like the. What does an influencer mean? Um, yeah. It's somebody that people follow because they're interested. In, like they okay. think that person is an interesting person, yeah. and what he wears, where he goes, mm -hmm. what he does, isn't it's it influences them to be somebody like that as well. I think in my case, yeah. what like is maybe the traveling i go to really nice places okay. and i go to really nice places because of dancing of course because there's competitions around the world right yeah. so that helps me travel that's one part. Yeah. so people are maybe asking me like oh like, what do you do how do you travel that much that's interesting yeah and the dresses i wear because of ballroom dancing they're very extravagant really interesting because of modeling they like my lifestyle I think that's why it maybe influences people to pursue a business yeah. dancing life and to have that lifestyle. I think it's the lifestyle part. That so really for, for those who are just following you on social media, can it be a very dangerous game to play while you're maybe posting pictures on your trips, but they're more trips that are for your, like you said, your competitions, right? So if people don't necessarily know that and they look up to you, that they might feel like they can never have access to all these vacations or those trips. So how would you handle that to help someone say, you know, you can maybe do something different if you want to travel? Would you ever give people or do you give people advice on how to travel? I think uh, I'm not a really good influencer right now because I'm not really making videos to explain what I do. Okay. okay. This first interview is actually an opening to my followers. Yeah. All right. Why am I traveling so much? Because I never actually, I mean, when people ask me, why do you travel? How do you travel? I usually say, I mean, sometimes it's for vacation, of course, but usually it's because of something such, like, such as a conference or a ballroom dancing competition or for modeling and acting as well. Yeah. So the advice I would give is, well, for me, I would give more, more like videos and more explanation about what I do, maybe be more present with my followers yeah but for my followers i mean it's basically pursue what you love because i did i danced since an early age and that gave me opportunities to travel yeah. as well as acting and modeling right these three options that i had that i started at an early age opened okay. me up opened me time and opportunities to travel in really nice places so how do you schedule your content for example if you go on your Instagram, there's a lot of, like you said, a lot of travel pictures, but what happens like for pictures when it's winter? Is that something that you want to remove from your feed or you want to just keep the summer vibes going? I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big winter fan. Okay. Okay. And so when I travel, I try to travel during winter time. So yep. I don't see a lot of winter pictures. I think it's because I travel during winter and I mostly like on beaches. To enjoy the sun um i don't think i have a lot of winter pictures you're right even though i live in canada um maybe um on my part i should uh post more montreal winter pictures too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> followers explore the other side of like canada the beauty of winter yeah it's a lot to do right we're doing winter yep. in montreal and uh i can take beautiful traveling pictures in my own city you're right um <laughs> that's something i would know all right, so Hugo, do you have one last question for Nadia? So before the last question, where can people join you? Which platforms are you on? Instagram, what's your Instagram name? 
Yes. So my Instagram link is where I'm the most active. I would yes. say Nadia underscore O N I. Okay. Um, on Facebook, I think I post more um, posts like statuses than more than pictures. Okay. Um, yeah. So you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And, cool. uh, that's it. I'm not. That's the the most platforms I'm active on. All right, we're gonna share all the links on the description of this video and audio. So okay. my last question is, uh, what is, do you have any like any future plans? Are you gonna, what is the next event you're gonna do? Like, do you have any? Um, uh, I'm working on a lot of projects right now. Yeah. They're at a very early stage, okay. but um, it might be something that will actually make my entrepreneur uh, goal get realized, you know, okay. like having a remote job, like having my own business so I can travel anywhere I want, basically. Yes. From anywhere I want so exactly so I'm working on some ideas for now uh, my my future goal is to establish ideas to make yes. them realize them if not maybe I, I got certified as a ballroom teacher okay so maybe use that opportunity to go and seek schools that in like Russia or like LA yeah. that take me and establish myself as a ballroom dance teacher Wow. My final question is, how much time do you stay um, in Montreal for? Do you stay for like a week, two weeks? How often do you come back or stay for as a yeah, duration? My friends ask me the same questions. They think I'm always somewhere else. Um, <laughs> I usually stay, I think, two months and then I go somewhere. One okay. month, two months. Yeah, I think that's the right time. You also give like conferences and talks uh, when you travel? Not really. I get interviews. Okay. But never did a conference yet. All right. Sounds good. That sounds good, yeah. All right. So thank you so much for being on the show. Yes. Um, this is the Antonio Raldi Show with Hugo Prince, The That's Road awesome. to the IPO. So thank you so much for being on the show. And we'll make sure that to share this video on social media. And also, if you want, you can also share the video as well. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.